Hello. This time I'm going to felt something very easy. This will be one of those crafts I highly recommend as your first work if you still think about starting a felting journey. And you don't have to spend much to buy many wools. And check out how you feel about felting. All you need is black and white wool if you want to do mama, if you want to do carrier you need a small piece of yellow, gray, and brown wool. I'm going to make both of them as hanging figures, so it will be possible to attach them to the bag or somewhere else. So, start by forming an oval-like shape, let it be more round at the top but at the bottom, this side can be more or less flat. After you have the main shape with the size you are happy with, it's time to felt a flat patch from a large strand of the wool. It's good if you make it long enough so it wraps around the main body and you still have a few centimeters left to lose. Why? Because while connecting this patch you will need to make it a little wavy. You will do that by overlapping small pieces of the upper part of the patch. This way you will get wavy texture at the parts where the patch is no longer connected to the upper body. Of course, you need to connect only around half of your patch and leave the rest freely and wavy. You will get more or less a bell shape. So, for start, I will say I really like Automata and I find all Yoko Taro games and stories very interesting. I've yet played Replicant, I wait for a sale and maybe some more free time. But I was quite intrigued about reincarnation, since mostly those days, once I get home from work and do all stuff I had to do, or when I don't felt in edit videos for this channel. I just rest in the bed and play some mobile games. This is the best moment to add some thread or other solid rope. You can add it a little earlier too, if you are afraid it won't hold well, in case someone would jerk your figure, while being outdoors with it. I've covered my rope with a few more layers of wool, paying attention to not mess heads proportions and shape. Now, it's time to add eyes, they are pretty simple, all you have to do is to place them right and do the right size. Remember, you can help yourself with spare needles while positioning the eyes. My second tip and reminder is that if you don't felt them too hard in, you can always grab and drag them out if you make them too big and you notice that after connecting. I often just drag such wool by my own hands and nails. Don't use a small needle for it because you can break it by using it like this. Well, myself I always use only the biggest needles for all my felting progress and still broke few needles already. So it's normal. It's time for those strange arms of the mama. You need to take a piece of wool and felt it until it gets stiff, that's all. I had some difficulty in felting mine because those figures are really small. Only around 7 cm so it took time to get them stiff and well felted. It will surely get easier if you make your figures bigger. When the arms are done you just have to connect them to the rest and it's done. And as an idea, I really like the look and story of reincarnation. The art style is very interesting and I liked it. It's amazing how the artist has done those event graphics. They were flat, faceless yet those looked so good. I like how the story was shown, it was like a theater and it fits greatly Yoko Taro style. Myself, if ever asked by somebody to describe his games, I would say. They are like Greek tragedy plays. They share much in common, fate, bad endings and how Yoko Taro uses only a few locations over and over because those aren't that important. You don't need thousands of stages for your actors, no. You need emotions and drama. Or maybe it's just because they lacked money, and I just give this big reason. Still, they used theater stage background for crossover events and reincarnation, so I may say there might be a piece of truth in my theory. Sadly I've stopped playing it. There are two reasons for that. 
First, the game looked amazing but worked awfully slow on my phone, even on low res settings. Second, weapon upgrading takes forever, and I usually couldn't play when bonus weapon upgrade missions were available. Autoplay missions to grind was very, very slow and the story pushed you to grind a lot. The last chapter I've played was the 11th chapter, and I stuck on it because I couldn't beat it. I've tried to grind in order o pass it but after a few hours I've given up. That's a shame, I wish this game was released on PC too like Genshin Impact, it would surely work better for me on a decent computer, though my phone isn't that bad or old. I need to watch the rest story and I've heard there will be the second arc so I'm quite interested in what more reincarnation will show. For now interesting thing is that it kinda connects to Draken Guard 3, or rather explains the creation of one important thing there, but I will not say more because of spoilers. I don't mind talking about it in the comments though. You make carrier in the same way. Just do the base shape of the same size as mama if you want them to be the same. Next, you do a patch again for the wavy bottom. When you do those steps it's time for a new thing, carrier's hat. So once more I've made a patch which I'm going to felt later around his head. Connect it so the upper part is a little more wider than the edge on the top of the head. Now when you have it done, fill up the inside of the hat with the wool. I think it's the easier way to do this part. You can control the size of the hat this way if your patch round was not enough high and add some wool to build it up. I've added rope while filling the hat and after it, I've made eyes. Now I roll around had a piece of grey wool and felted them together. Next, I took a shorter piece of yellow wool and added it too. Then, a visor for the hat. I've made it almost the same way as the patch, just used a small piece and shaped it while felting. When you connect it, you have the hat done. Now it's the best time for a bag. I've made mine for dark brown and if I was doing carrier again, I would use a lighter shade of brown. This one I've used is almost non-viewable on top of dark wool. So for the bag's belt, you should felt something between a patch and arms you've made for mama. You felt it like this to get more 3D look later when you connect it. Then you felt a small square-like shape for the bag. In the end, you grab a small piece of yellow wool and felt that belt detail. All left now is carrier's arms, if you have done mama first there is no more I can say.
and they are finished. Those strange ghost-like creatures from near reincarnation. I hope you liked this video. Next time I'm going to felt Chiwanaba from Shin Megami Tensei 5 to celebrate its release. See ya.